Hi everyone. Today our topic is Apache JMeter script recording web application with Proxy. Okay. How to record the script through JMeter with Proxy. Okay. How I need to do. Today this is our topic. I will explain one by one. Prerequisites. First of all, you already install the JMeter tool. Latest version. After Java 1.8 above, you need to install. After any one browser, any one browser, it's a Internet Explorer. or Microsoft Microsoft Edge Google Chrome Firefox Opera or Safari Okay Okay, any one browser you need to take in under first install the install jmeter install jmeter certificate install jmeter certificate in required browser okay you need to install the jmeter certificate uh, JMeter certificate means it's a JMeter root CA certificate. Root CA certificate. You need to install the that browser. After set up the proxy, and you need to start the recording. Okay. This is the process, guys. Now I need to show you how you need to uh, record the through JMeter tool in web application with the proxy. You need to record the script. Okay, what is this step by step process? Okay, now I need to open the my JMeter tool. Okay, this is my tool Apache JMeter 5.4.1. You need to open this one, go to bin and launch directory executable jar file. Okay, first you need to open the JMeter. This is the JMeter, guys. Okay, uh, latest version 5.4. 5 okay, how you need to do the you need to record the script now? First of all, test plan you need to add the go to test plan, right click, add thread, and go to thread group. You need to add under thread group, you need to right click. Add go to sampler. You need to add the HTTP request, or there is a another another one in the old version is available. HTTP request default. You need to add that one also. Example, you can go to config element now. HTTP request default. This one also you need to add. Anything is same only. Go to sampler. Add the HTTP request. Once HTTP request is added now, after you need to add the Okay, after you need to add the directly, you can go to the uh, thread group, add, go to logical controller. There is a one recording controller. You can use recording controller. After go to thread group, you need to show the your output. Go to listeners. You can add the view results tree. After go to thread group, go to listeners. 
you can take the view results table after go to the test plan add go to config element http cookie manager go to add config element http catch manager you can move to the up level why i need to add this http request and recording controller now http request is you need to go to the in request example i will show you i will go to the jpet store application it's a demo application yeah i will take in this one i will take this url okay i will take this one you can see there is a so many parts of the application uh, example this is https you need to take one after jpetstore.com it's a one after you need to take this one it's a different it's a path okay how you need to provide now you need to take this one go to http request provide the protocol it's a https after go to the url or ip address or host name this one application point you need to provide the server name or ip after go to the path you need to take this one can provide the path this is the get method okay now just you can save it this one it's a proxy script i will provide the proxy yeah it's done now i need to execute just a single user only not more than you can see this is the request is executed na? this is predefined you need to provide second one this method is not required okay you need to record this script point of view this is also one method recording means you will directly provide the url level only okay you need to clear everything you need to disable this one after go to the recording controller now you need to add the uh, in important element go to thread group add not this one go to test plan directly add go to non test element http test script recorder guys previous old versions it's a 2.7 a 2.9 3.0 4.0 there is a test plan and workbench in under workbench only available http test script recorder but now available under test plan okay what are the things i need to do you need to record in this script in go to the https test script recorder and provide the port i will provide the 8080 okay select the target controller target controller is you can select this one test plan thread group recording controller i will select this is the recording controller only you need to record all the request grouping is do not group samplers remaining everything same only or uh, you don't need to do anything go to requesting you can select add suggested excludes what is the meaning means uh, this one will provide unnecessary file formats is never recording you need to provide anything you can provide the this pipe symbol shift and there is a one stride symbol is available in your keyboard you can provide a um, enter key above is available you can provide the shift and that key automatically the pipe symbol will be kept and you need to provide the file format you not record the jpg you can provide the pipe symbol jpg that is the way you need to provide the, all the file formats this one also will be done now everything is ready for your script side now i need to go to the browser side in browser i will take the internet explorer i will take in i will open the internet explorer just a minute it's open that one
I will provide the URL. Yeah, this is the application, guys. JPEG store application you will open. Now, what you need to do now? First of all, you can click on the settings and go to the internet options. After go to the there is a connection under select the land settings under you need to remove the automatically detect settings and select this one i will provide the local host okay but you need to provide the your mission ip address will provide or application ip address you need to provide and port number i will select it 8080 it's done all the settings after you need you need to install the jmeter root ca certificate that time what you need to do no? same settings you can select the content there is a certificate option you can click on go to the trusted root ca certificate guys you can see uh, this one i am already installed you can see today date is 15 1 this validity expiration is 9 1 how will it install now you can go to the trusted root ca certificates click on import click on next you can go to the browse this is the apache jmeter temporary root ca certificate you can select and click on open the file will be imported that's all there is nothing else after you need to click on ok okay where is available that root ca certificate now you can go to the jmeter bin folder you can see this one apache jmeter temporary root ca certificate 12.1 I generated 19.1 will be expired just 7 days only after just once the process will be configured now click on enter it will showing the process server refusing the connection means it's a private network now it's not a public public means you're not able to use to the through connecting through internet it's not possible it's only connecting uh, which server will be configured or which ip address or host name will be configured that application only will be work okay it's everything settings everything is done it's a local host 8080 port now i need to start my test how you need to start just you need to everything is set up and done just click on start you don't need to problem it's automatically leaving this pop-up message now you need to ready to work you can go to the your jmeter browser and click on enter yeah application is open just you can wait uh, five to ten seconds after click on sign in slowly you need to perform this all the operations the username password is j2e username password also j2e after click on login i will select the i i am very interested only fish only just select the first one select add to cart proceed to checkout continue confirm yeah it's completed total amount also will be displayed yeah you need to sign out okay it's done now you need to stop the test go to jmeter you can see there is a one plus symbol there are so many requests will be recording you need to check everything is available in our application or not petstore.octoperf.com yes second one same third one same fourth one same fifth sixth seventh you can see something economic times something will give camera you can delete this one after same same click on directly in delete it's a different you can delete it Okay guys, this is the way you need to record the your script through web application with proxy. Example, I am not able to reproduce the errors. Okay, but I will provide the uh, what are the issues I faced. Anything, your JMeter certificate will be expired. 
you did not check properly you need to start the recording that time script the request is not able to capture you need to remember this point the request is not able to capture that time what you need to do now you need to delete the that jmeter temporary root ca certificate in proxy in your browser in trusted certificates you need to delete that one there is one option you can select that uh, jmeter root ca certificate and click on remove it's a removed after you need to latestly you need to generate and you need to upload how you need to uh, latest one you need to generate now in jmeter root ca certificate and you can check my playlist how to regenerate uh, uh, new a jmeter temporary root ca certificate i already created my video step by step i created you need to check out now you able to get otherwise youtube also there are so many people will be created you can check that videos and you can solve your issue okay yeah that's all guys this video uh, this video mainly topic is i will remove this all the things apache jmeter script recording web application with the proxy you need to record with the proxy you need to record the script that's all yeah that's all guys this video i will connect to the my next video thank you very much for everyone bye